All right, it is Sunday, a Memorial Day weekend. I decided to come out here to Granada Park. It's triple digits, it's 100 degrees right now. And I'm going to throw the white jerk bait because I have been successful with white baits here in this pond. And this crusty line that I was using yesterday that was giving me a backlash. I said it was new line, it was actually line from another reel that I had spooled on here and tied it to the other line. I did a double uni knot, but uh, let's see if it doesn't give me troubles. And let's see if I can catch some bass in this 100 degree weather. Yeah, backlash again. It's getting in it's all tangled with itself. The line pinched. And that caused it to create crimps in the line and, and break. Oh, this line is such a pain. Did it break again? There's some crusty ass line. I must have got cuts on it from something. Last time I went fishing maybe. Perhaps. Let's see him out there. Oh, he attacked it. Oh, he hit it again. He hit it again. Maybe I should expose the hook this time. Ooh. And, oh, that's good. That scared a fish away. Oh yeah, I got one. He came up and ate it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I thought it scared him away, but he came up and ate it. That was amazing. Uh, ooh, ooh. So close to getting that freaking hook in my hand. But uh, he came up and ate it, man. Yes. I was successful and caught a fish today. This is great. I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's get the release on this guy. Let's get him back in here in this super algae water. There you go, buddy. Catch. Yes. And it was the chatterbait trailer. The white color that did it for me again. I was messing with these fish over here so much I aggravated them enough that right when it hit the water I, I got uh, all snagged up again. It hit that water. I thought it spooked him off but he actually took my lure. I didn't realize he had it on until I started reeling. That was awesome. Let's get back to you with some more action. Well, let me give you an update. It's extremely hot out here. <laughs> It's triple digits, 100 degrees. I just caught a bass, and it was only hooked at the bottom of the lip. You, you, see, you see that in the video. He had bleeding in his gill. I don't know why. I thought it was its lip, but I released it, and now it's in the water. It's floating, so I don't think it's going to make it. I don't know if it's... Uh, maybe I hooked it in the gut, and then as I was fighting it, it pulled out and then got hooked on the lip. Or maybe it's just the temperature of the water. You know, it's shallow water. He was probably stressed. I released him back. The water's probably not cool enough for, I don't know, maybe enough oxygen that he needs. But, uh, you know, my intention is never to hurt the fish. I always just want to catch and release. But uh, I'm still having a good time out here. Just a little bum that that fish isn't going to make it. Um, I'll still fish. I, I, I got that fish in the water quickly, too. But, uh, you know, let me know what you think. What, what do you think? You know, why, why is this fish going to perish? But uh, I'll keep fishing. Hopefully if I catch another fish, I'll get it back in the water as soon as possible when it survives. But, uh, let's see if I can get on some more fish. Yeah, it's got another one. Ooh. All right, just caught one little guy. Look at him. Let's get him back in the water. Woo! <laughs> Jumped up. That was awesome. 
Oh. I just hit the freaking bridge. I'm stuck on it. And I just spooled my line. Look at that. That. I don't know if I'm going to get this out. <laughs> Getting it out. And then hopefully having some line underneath this enough to at least fish with. <sighs> I don't think it's worth the time. So let's see. I'll cut this here. See my lure over there. This is just not going good. <laughs> I just cut that like it was hair. All right, I finally got to the end. That was worth it. That didn't take too long. It's a hot day, we ran out of our water bottles. Alakai, my son here, is getting water. And they just hit a rock. <laughs> the rangers just hit a rock. They're probably like, don't record me. But uh, it's hot, man, it's 100 degrees, so I'm gonna take a break here in the shade, and I'm gonna move down to the second pond and see if I can nail some more bass. All right, we're gonna call it a day. It's hot out here. It's over 100 degrees. We're both burning up. <clears throat> Successful day though, caught two largemouth bass. We'll catch you on the water next time. <laughs>